What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Thrash Chassis Garage. We gotta get Michael's truck finished up. We got a list on the window. It is a short list, but it's not an easy list. So let's get started. All right, so on our list today, the first thing we gotta do is get everything pulled off of this old transmission and get it out of the way. Um, we're gonna swap the transfer case, all the electronics to the new transmission, get that ready to install, uh, get the torque converter and all that stuff installed, and then install it. All right, so first things first is I need to get off this linkage. Um, I couldn't figure out how to do it when I was underneath the car, but now looking at it, it's pretty simple. So get that off and then we'll uh, unbolt the transfer case. See, simple. The problem that we're having is we're pretty much gonna lose all of the transmission fluid when we remove this because I was too lazy to drop the pan when the transmission was in the vehicle because uh, I thought it'd be more messy to do it underneath the car, but this is probably going to be worse. So whatever you learn from your mistakes, won't we'll ever do it again. <laughs> that was clean. Most of the fluid has kind of drained out, but we do need to drain all the fluid to ship it back to them. So for right now, so I can clean up the mess, we're going to put it on jack stands in the grass. So if it does, you know, drip, it's at least in the grass and not the concrete. But I think Aaron's actually gonna work on that, drop the pan while I clean up the mess. So, yep, one more thing, right? So Aaron's great idea is to drill the pan so we don't have to drop it and it'll still drain. So there it is. He already drilled it. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I wasn't, uh, I had a lapse of judgment. What happens when you leave Michael in charge of things? So we totally missed it, but uh, we've got the transmission out here draining. And I like went to lift it up so that it would tilt and it totally fell off the jack stands and almost killed Michael. Look, it's a torque converter. It's a little heavy. Pizza. Because they're red. <laughs> it's pepperoni. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a beaut. This piece just threads into the end, but there's a shaft that the sensor goes on to so that doesn't work and this one had a nut that had that arm coming off of it so I just disconnected that arm and that just bolts up like that it looks like it has the bolts there like this it doesn't have like this stud that comes off the end. yeah so Michael's gonna go ahead and give them a call and see what's going on um, maybe it's just 
an updated one. We did notice, or Michael noticed that it's actually stamped 28 on this one and his was 24. So maybe there was a update, but like the issue is like this little like selector or like a sensor to tell what gear it's in. It, it just, it can't fit. So I just got off the phone with Monster Transmission and they have this linkage set up for their test vehicle and what most owners do for Fords is what they told me is they just shift uh, change their shift linkage so we're gonna have to drop the pan even though Aaron just drilled the hole in even though we have to pull it off uh, to remove my shift linkage and put it on the new one so like I said before just keeps adding up we got the transmission uh, turned on its side so we can get this pan off and get this linkage off and put onto the new trans. As you can see, it's off because I didn't record. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. You get it. Right, from a different angle. <laughs> well, we got it, uh, got that switched out over here. Uh, somebody, somebody forgot to turn the camera on when they hit record, so we again. missed that. Again. Yeah, again, that's like what the third time this video. Second, Second time this video. Well, that's fine. Uh, we got that. Alan Michael's just tightening up the pan bolts. And uh, hopefully we have no more, no more issues. We can swap over any electronics that we need, get the torque converter in, and get this bitch in the fucking car. Since we have all that done, and we haven't even started on our list today, I guess we'll get, we'll get started. And I made more of a mess. So that's just great. Well, that was a lot easier than what we expected. So now onto the electronics and then torque converter. So again. <laughs> All right, electronics are swapped. That was fast. Now to the torque converter. All right, filling up one quart into torque converter. That's what it says. That was a fast catch. One. Clockwise. That's I'm going clockwise. Two. There's three. Was that three or is that? That's three, but that's not. There it is. That's it. There it is. That's in. Now for the fun part. Uh, last time we had to jack up the truck just to get it out uh, because the top of the transmission uh, wouldn't clear. So we're gonna get that done and throw it in. But we had three people last time. So, be interesting. We forgot 
that we need to flush the tranny cooler uh, be easier with the transmission not in here. So we're gonna do that now. You're gonna just spray it all over your, the bottom of your truck? Well, I don't know where to put this because the jack's like right in the way. Well, it's gonna spray out that top hose, so it's gonna be somewhere over there. Pull it. Pull on that hose that you're pushing. Or not. There you go. Hold it straight up. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. What a fucking mess. Alright. Now, maybe we can put the trans in. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> no, we are. We finally are. I swear. I swear we're finally putting the trans in. The bolt? Yeah. That's what I meant. I got carpet, carpal tunnel. Wake up, hand. It's not time to party yet. So I'll need you later. It is finally time to take these jacks out. Ready? Ready. So we pretty much, we're almost there really. I mean, Michael's getting the linkage all bolted back up. Um, I've got the tranny lines bolted back up. Uh, we got all the bolts around the bell housing tightened up. We got to do the torque converter bolt still. And uh, we forgot to slip the dipstick tube in. So we got to get that bolt loose so that we can slide that in. And then we're gonna go through all the little miscellaneous bolts that are laying around and figure out where we forgot to put them in at. And <laughs> then uh, get this exhaust in here, get some fluid in it, hopefully start it. Yeah. Start it, run it through its gears, make sure it all works. We're not putting the drive shafts in tonight, more than likely. Now uh, we could probably put the front one in since it's, we're gonna get U joints for it. Oh, I thought that it was like no, you just for everything. It's just oh, okay. the um, So we'll probably put the front one in so that tomorrow, uh, all we really got to do is just focus on that drive shaft and uh, drive it. Yeah, go uh, beat the shit out of it. Make sure everything works. What if it sucks the torque converter to the flywheel? I was wondering about that too. Oh, I'm so excited. This is finally in. All we have to do is a downpipe. So let me tell you about this. You know how I was struggling with that, the stock downpipe, 
with that one bolt well me and Aaron looked some stuff up and it was only a hundred dollars for a three inch down pipe uh, that's better it's not pancaked so I just decided to buy a three inch down pipe so when I was trying to get the old one out uh, you have to cut it just to get it out yeah pain in the ass and I broke my the v-band clamp so I got one ordered it should be here tomorrow so we're not gonna be able to start it today because I don't want to dump soot all over my engine bay so this is almost done I'm so happy to drive this truck it's been seven months Aaron July July so seven months and I miss it but I mean I can't drive my 240 anywhere unless the truck's done so I'm stoked to have this thing up and running again all right well as you guys can see I hope we got everything on our list done except for it's Friday I guess we're not winking anymore uh, we got all our shit done and we were kind of debating, do we call it a night? Do we keep going? And we kind of decided to, well, I mean, I kind of just convinced Michael that we should keep going so that if we can get pretty much all of this done, except for get that exhaust clamped up and that's all we have to do tomorrow. And then we can go rip around town in this thing and hang out and get started on another project. Why not? So we're gonna start by throwing on these drive shafts. Well, this one and then Michael picked up some U-joints and a carry bearing to put into the rear one. So we're going to try to tackle that. And then if we're still feeling froggy, then we'll get started on getting that downpipe in. So we'll see where we get to. We're not sure how long all this shit's going to take. Hold it. Got it. Drive line in, starter in, plate on. Oh wait. Um, Aaron got the V pan, the V band, the old one that's destroyed, kind of positioned up there. You don't know where to record you from. So it kind of holds, but it's not great. Uh, but we thought this was actually gonna be longer, probably back to here, if they can see that. They can't. Okay. But they can see the gap. Yeah. And there's about a three inch gap here, um, which we might take some of the piping and the clamp or flange off the old one and just weld it onto here. So it's just all clamp on. We didn't put gloves on. Damn it, I just washed my hands. <laughs> It's right there, dude. It's coming. All right, so rather than beat the shit out of this with a hammer, we have a fucking press for a reason. So we're gonna press these out. Battery on this camera is gonna die and I'm too lazy to switch it out. So we'll come back to you once we get this pressed out. A little uh, snafu, the, the carrier bearing that we ordered that came in a kit is, looks like it's gonna be the right one, but the U-joints are way too big. So, All right, so as I was saying, U joints, too big, carrier bearing is okay, but we can tuck her. All right, so as I was saying, the carrier barrier, carrier barrier, god damn. All right, so as I was saying, the U joints are far too big, the carrier bearing is gonna work. Michael's gonna pick up new U joints tomorrow uh, when he goes to pick up like that V band clamp and the the like puller for the carrier bearing. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get the rest of these U joints pressed out since I've already got everything out. We've got like a, a, a rhythm going. I'm gonna just take care of that real quick. And uh, yeah, so. All right, guys, so that's pretty much a wrap for the night. We got a lot more done today than we thought we were going to. We clearly outdid our list, and uh, we've got another list all ready to go for tomorrow. Uh, so make sure you tune back in for that. Hopefully Michael's truck is pulling pulling out of here tomorrow, and uh, we can go, go have some fun with it. It's been too long. Do us a favor, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and if you have, Go share it with your friends. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers this year, and I think we can do it, but we definitely need your help to get there, and uh, we appreciate each and every one of you. So we will see you guys tomorrow. We got to get this bitch on the road.